Well, welcome to, where are we? Torres del Paine National Park. Who yeah. am I speaking to? I'm speaking to my guide, Franco. Hi, friends. So, Franco is a Chilean guide working in the park, staying at the hotel. He works at the hotel that I'm at, which is the Hotel Las Torres. Las Torres. So, it's a great hotel, really central in the park. They offer amazing activities. If we look tired, it's probably because we are. We didn't have much sleep last night and uh, we were up at four o'clock, left the hotel about 25 past four, four hour hike to go to an amazing, because I just have to take a picture, because somebody just moved, uh, an amazing view up here in Torres del Paine National Park. So Torres del Paine is most famous for the horns. Let's show you something else, look at this. I'm not sure about you, but that is one stupendous view. So uh, we've been up here doing this. So we've been here, what, probably an hour and a half, I guess, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just been waiting. As you can hear, there's lots of people around as well. So I'm actually here on a commission. So yes, I've got my camera set up. 16.35 on the front. I'm just basically doing this bay <laughs> foreground interest. And there's the, the nice towers up there. Las Torres del Paine. Yeah, <laughs> Las Torres del Paine. Yeah, yeah Las right. Tor Torres del Paine. So there you go. That's uh, that's what we've got. And on the way back, I've seen a couple of things as well. A nice waterfall, nice woodland. So Franco's going to give me some time when we're going back down. This is just the beginning. There's glacier coming up and a few other things. Keep tuned. Keep stay tuned in, and then you'll find out. Welcome to the second day of Torres del Paine and it has started absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Behind me is the famous scene that most people will come here for. You might be looking at this and thinking it's a grey day isn't it? No it was not. Let me just get my GoPro. Look at this. This was about oh, an hour ago. Absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. So I've done a panorama of this range here. This is what most people will know of as Torres del Paine. But just, well, you'll see when I process this and then I do the panorama as well. It was absolutely stunning. And actually I'm here with another photographer whose name I don't know at the moment, but my guide as well from the hotel. He's here, different guide this morning, but um, uh, that worked out great. He's coming now. Hi, Marcelo. So Hi, Marcelo is, uh, how was like, how was YouTube? So <laughs> Marcelo is my guide. He's having me actually fix up my excursions from the hotel. And um, just wow, wasn't it? Just absolutely amazing. Okay, we had a perfect uh, early morning today. It was a great view. We had a great view here in the mountains in the Torres del Paine National Park. Couldn't have had it any better. <laughs> Nothing. And actually, the other photographer that stood here, he's been waiting five days, I think. Indeed. He said for that. Days. So, what more can you say? We'll see you on the next thing, which might be some pumas. We will see. So I haven't recorded much uh, during the day, but I've been busy sort of wrecking lots of different places. I've come back to where I started this morning. There's a few different people here, actually. It's quite nice. been having conversations with people from Austria and Germany, which is always good. <laughs> and so we're having fun. And as you can see, the sky is going a bit nuclear up there. So I just actually uh, was filming a quick thing for my Instagram stories. And so actually it kind of works doing portrait orientation. So if I just go around here like this, up, oh, get my camera back up. Look at that, absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Amazing sky there. So I just did this 
here, so I'm going to have to blend it. So I've got one here and one here. But yeah, look at that. I'm just going to carry on because holy something or other that I can't say on YouTube. That is one hell of a landscape image there. It's the last morning here in Patagonia. I've got my guide with me, Franco. Hey guys. And you might be able to see up there, the sky is going nuclear, which is absolutely awesome. We don't have much time this morning. I've got about an hour and 45 minutes to get back to the hotel to get my transfer down to Punta Arenas. Over there, this is the, uh, the Blue Lagoon. So let's just show you quickly the Blue Lagoon. There you go. We're having to work really quickly. I'm having to think what is here, what's not here, what can I do with it? You can see up there the sky. Got my picture, I've got another couple of pictures from here. So let's just quickly wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching again. It's really appreciated. Thank you to Hotel Las Torres for putting, putting me up and putting up with me because I've been uh, really pushing them to get what it is that I need out of this place. And also uh, Senature who have been supporting me as well, which is the Chilean Tourism Board. It's really, really appreciated. Everybody that's helped out, my guide here, Franco. So uh, Franco has been helping me so much and uh, we've been sharing many adventures together. Really appreciated to him. And there's also Marcelo and there's also uh, Valentina as well in the hotel who's been helping with excursions and stuff like that. They've really found out what it's like to work with a photographer that absolutely needs to get the best out of a location. And I think they've got a pretty good idea of what goes into creating the photographic works that inspire you to come to somewhere like this here in Patagonia. See you on the next one, wherever it might be. Don't forget to subscribe down there, click on the notification bell. See you again soon, thanks. Appreciate it. Bye.